Welcome to the 17th lecture on calculus. Today we will discuss Leibniz test. So in the previous two lectures we have discussed comparison test, ratio test, root test and integral test. So this test using this we can conclude the convergence of certain alternating series. So first we will see what is alternating series and then we will prove Leibniz theorem and at the end we will see two examples. So what is alternating series? A series of the form summation minus 1 power n plus 1 times a n where a n is positive real number. So this kind of series we call it an alternating series. So it is alternating sum of positive real numbers. So this kind of series we call it alternating series and using Leibniz theorem we can conclude the convergence of certain alternating series. What is that? So you consider an alternating series. So then if this sequence a suffix n, if this is a monotone decreasing sequence, of course this is a sequence of positive real numbers. So if this sequence it is a monotone decreasing sequence and it converges to 0, then we can conclude that this alternating series it is convergent. So this thing is important. And let's prove this theorem. So I will give the sketch of the proof. So to prove certain series is convergent, it is equivalent to prove the sequence of the partial sums that is a convergent sequence. So you consider this S suffix n and this is the sum of the first n terms. So it is just this one because its nth term it is given by this so then s suffix n it is just this one and we want to conclude that this sequence it is a convergent sequence and that will prove that this alternating series is convergent so how to prove that this sequence is convergent we will just consider two subsequences of this so one subsequence that is given by the all even indices terms and another subsequence it is this one it is given by the all odd indices terms. So if you consider this subsequence then we can see that this s suffix 2n plus 2 minus s suffix 2n it is just this difference and since our sequence is monotone decreasing so we can see that this difference it is greater than or equal to 0. So ultimately we are getting that this term it is greater than or equal to this term. So this sequence, this subsequence, it is monotone increasing. So I should write that this is, so this is monotone increasing subsequence. And what about, so if you consider this term of this subsequence, we can see that this is just A1 minus, so all the terms we can arrange in this way. So it is difference between A2 and A3 and it is A4 minus A5. So this is this one and then at the end you will get this. So since your sequence is monotone decreasing, so this difference it is, uh, it is greater than or equal to 0. This difference it is greater than or equal to 0. This difference it is also greater than or equal to uh, 0. And ultimately you will get this term it is something positive. So you are subtracting some terms from A1. Okay. So of course then this term, so this whole thing it is less than A1. So you can see that all the terms of this subsequence it is bounded above by A1. So from here we can conclude that this subsequence it is also bounded above. So therefore it is monotone bounded sequence and in lecture 7 we have proved so in lecture 7 we have proved that every monotone bounded sequence it is convergent. So since it is monotone increasing and it is bounded above, so, so see this sequence it is bounded above and it is monotone increasing, so it implies that it is bounded below also. So anyway, so this subsequence it is monotone bounded sequence and therefore this subsequence it is a convergent subsequence. What about this subsequence? So for this subsequence we can see that the difference between these two terms again we can one can write it is just difference between these two terms. 
for this series. So then since your sequence this a suffix n it is monotone decreasing so it, this difference it is less than or equal to 0. So ultimately you will get that this term it is less than or equal to this term. So this sequence it is monotone decreasing sequence. I should write it here. So this is consider this this term of this subsequence it is it is just it is just sum of the first 2n plus 1 terms of this series and then we can group the terms in this manner. So it is just difference between a1 and a2 and then it is a3 minus a4 then it is this one plus this one. So since this sequence it is monotone decreasing sequence so all this difference it is greater than or equal to 0 and what about this term so it is something positive because here in this so this is alternating series so it is so this thing it is some positive real number so the, this term it is something positive and all the other terms are non-negative so ultimately you will get that this whole sum it is greater than this particular value so you can see the all the terms of this subsequence it is greater than this value this fixed value so therefore this subsequence it is bounded below so i should write that this is bounded below and of course this subsequence it is monotone decreasing and it is bounded below so from here one can conclude that this is a monotone bounded sequence and hence from this fact one can conclude that this subsequence it is also a convergent subsequence so ultimately you are getting that both the subsequences this s suffix 2n and s suffix 2n plus 1 both are convergent subsequences and if we now prove that their limits are same then we are done so let's prove that their limits are same how to prove that you just consider the difference between uh, the terms of these two subsequences so it is s suffix 2n plus 1 minus s suffix 2n then this difference it is just this one it is a suffix 2n plus 1 and what is the limit of this thing so it is just 0 so that is given condition so it is given that this sequence it converges to 0 so therefore every subsequence of this it converges to 0 so since this is a subsequence of this sequence so this limit that is also 0 so ultimately from here you can get that this limit it is same as this limit so you have this equality so this exercise you have done already from assignment 1 that for a sequence s suffix n if both the subsequences so s suffix 2n and s suffix 2n plus 1 if both are convergent and they converge to the same limit then your sequence is convergent so you can conclude that this sequence of partial sums it is a convergent sequence and thus the series is convergent and this completes the proof of Leibniz theorem so what is the uh, statement of Leibniz theorem so if you consider a sequence of positive real numbers which is a monotone decreasing sequence and it converges to zero then this alternating series it is convergent so next we, we will see two examples consider this sequence whose nth term is 1 by n so of course this is a monotone decreasing sequence of positive real numbers and it converges to 0 so we know that limit 1 by n that is 0 then you can apply Leibniz theorem so by Leibniz test we can say that this alternating series is convergent what about this alternating series so you consider a fixed uh, real number a then this sequence whose nth term is 1 by n plus a square this is also a monotone decreasing sequence of positive real numbers and of course it converges to 0 so therefore by Leibniz test this alternating series it is convergent and that's all I will stop here